Ah, welcome back everybody. This is the beginning of episode 2 of my Fallout New Vegas Let's Play. So far, we just got ourselves patched up from the dock. Got us some fresh clothes on. You see that 21? Got that Jordan on my back. And we're supposed to come over here and see Sunny Smiles. Cheyenne, stay. Oh. Don't worry. She Hello. Won't bite unless I tell her to. Who's this lady? Doc Mitchell said you can teach me how to survive in the desert. Yeah, I guess there's a thing or two I could show you. Sounds like you need all the help you can get after what they done to you. Meet me outside, behind the saloon. <laughs> oh, she wanted to meet me outside. Like, let's go boot it. Okay. I'm guessing this is like the kind of tutorial thing. I pretty much know how to play Fallout. It's not that much difficult. And the controls are pretty much the same as far as I've seen. Okay, we're back here. Still following that booty. That luscious, luscious booty. Hey, look at dog. Cheyenne, that's what she's talking about. Okay. Now. See the sarsaparilla bottles the rifle there? Added. Take this and try to hit a couple sarsaparilla of them. bottles. Okay. Not the best shooter, but let's see. That's the right idea. Look down the sight. Got it. Try crouching down and staying. Nice shot. Well, that's a start. But I don't reckon you came to me to learn to fight sarsaparilla bottles. No, nah, I what. didn't. I gotta go chase geckos away from our water supply anyway. Darn critters are attracted to it. Why don't you come along? Uh, yeah, see, the tutorial. I'm not playing no tutorial. I'm not already playing this already. I think I learned enough. Suit yourself. Hope this helped you some. I'm heading back now. Hope I didn't miss anything good on the jukebox. Cheyenne would never forgive me. Hey, do me a favor. Trudy, she's the bartender up at the Prospector. Kind of the town mom. She likes to meet newcomers. She'd be cross with me if I didn't ask you to poke your head in and say hi. Okay, so I'm guessing we're on our road to go see Trudy. Put this gun away. Can I? Go? Yes, I can. Hey there. Okay. I'm done being nice. If you don't hand Ringo over soon, I'm going to get my friends, and we're burning this town to the ground. Got it? We'll keep that in mind. Now, if you're not going to buy something, get out. No, oh, she gangster. Well, you've been causing quite a stir. Glad I finally got to meet you. Welcome to the Prospector Saloon. Uh, I overheard your argument. What was that all about? Looks like our little town got itself dragged in the middle of something we don't want anything to do with. About a week ago, this traitor, Ringo, comes into town. Survivor of an attack, he says. Bad men after him. Needs a place to hide. We figured he was just in shock. So we gave him a place to lie low. We didn't actually expect anyone to come after him. Where is Ringo now? He's holed up at the abandoned gas station up the hill. Why not just kill Cobb and be done with it? You mean murder him? That's not our way, even if Cobb is scum. He can bluster and threaten all he wants. Uh, what are you going to do? Some of the others, like Sonny, will probably stand up for Ringo if he asks for help, which he hasn't. Personally, I hope he sneaks out of town one night and takes the powder gangers with him. Nah, we taking these powder gangers out. They sound soft. Who Powder gang. Chang gangs, really. The NCR brought the men from California to work on the rail lines. Oh, so they was Problem prisoners. Is, I see. It turns out that giving convicts a bunch of dynamite and blasting powder isn't the best idea. You don't it was a big say. escape not too long ago. Some of them stuck together so they could make trouble. That's what we're dealing with now. Okay, never mind that. I want to talk about something else. Nah, I'm not going to buy anything. I only got like 18 caps. Uh, let's see. Goodbye. For now. Okay. What the hell is your problem? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Who you talk to, homie? What do you want? What was that you said about Ringo? He's some trader who decided he'd rather shoot than pay the toll for being in our territory. He's hiding somewhere in town. Would serve these idiots right if me and my guys shot the place up after we got payback on Ringo. 
this area is your territory? It is now. Me and the rest of the guys busted out of the NCR prison east of here and took over. Now we're calling the shots. What say I help take over this town? What the hell for? Just farmers and ranchers out here. Not much worth stealing. Uh, forget I said anything. Make up your damn mind. <laughs> Goodbye. Yeah. Just, just this guy. This guy, yo. I can't wait to kill that guy. But anyways, let's go see what this guy. Where is he? Where is he? Is he in that building right there? No, my thing is pointing up here. Oh, okay. I see where he's at. Just gonna mosey on over here. Is that a vending machine? I wonder if that's a vending machine. Yep. Sarsaparilla. Taking it. That's close enough. Who are you? And what do you want with me? If you're going to shoot, you better not miss. Sorry about the gun. You just caught me off guard, that's all. We got off to a bad start. What say we start over with a friendly game of caravan? You know how to play? Uh, did you know there was a man named Joe Cobb looking for you? Yeah, he doesn't look very tough, though. I hear he's afraid I'll shoot him down from one of the windows when I see him. And he's right. I'll have a much bigger problem once his friends show up. There's no way I could handle all of them in a gunfight. What are you going to do about these powder gangs? I'm going to lay low for as long as I can, assuming the town doesn't throw me to the wolves. I've got no chance against the gang on my own. You need a higher gun? I'm available. All I've got left on me are a handful of caps. But you get me out of this, and I'll make sure the Crimson Caravan pays you back. You've got my word. Uh, it'll have to do. What now? We just end up sharing the same grave if it's just the two of us. Now, if some of the other people in town were also on board... You don't think I can handle myself in a fight? I was thinking of myself, actually. Who's gonna watch my back while I'm watching yours? Yeah, he got a point. He got a point there. I'll ask around and see who I can round up. Start with Sunny Smiles. She's been friendlier than most around here. Oh, she gonna be real friendly soon. Oh, boxing times. What's, what's in here? Oh, that's still the same. Okay. Some detergent. A doctor's bag. Definitely need that. Some yeast. Uh, let's see, let's see. What's in your duffel bag? Some ammo, some right away. Some rounds for a gun that I don't have yet. Take these cigarettes. I ain't gonna take your 9mm rounds, though. I don't need those. Uh, let's see, what's over here? Empty. No, 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 no. Whiskey. I'll take some whiskey. You don't need that. Okay. Dude, good spring. So now we're back on our way to go see Sunny Smiles. And see if we can negotiate a little deal. I help him. He helps her. She helped me. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Nah. I, I highly doubt you can really do anything in the beginner town. Because that's what this seems like it is. You already had the tutorial that's like back here. Shooting bottles. <laughs> And that's pretty much useless. Okay. Yo, Sonny. Hey there. Hi there. Sticking around Good Springs for a while longer? I'm going to need help to, to take Ringo whatever. Say no more. I'm in. Well, that was easy. Joe Cobb talks about leaving us alone if we hand over Ringo. But I know his type. He and his friends will come after the town eventually. However, between you, me, and Ringo, we aren't exactly a force to be reckoned with. A lot of people around here look up to Trudy. If you could convince Trudy to join us, some of the folks in town might decide to help out as well. I know Easy Pete's got a stock of dynamite somewhere, and Chet just got a shipment of leather armor we could borrow. Talk to them as well. Finally, there's a good chance we'll all end up with extra holes in us. So if Doc Mitchell could cough up some extra stim packs, that'd be great. Any ideas on how to convince Trudy to join us? 
A silver tongue would help. Convincing Trudy that we had a good plan to win the fight would also help. Would Chet be willing to give us his supplies? I doubt it. Doubt it. I don't think give is in Chet's vocabulary. Even with the town at stake, he'd still make you barter with him. How can I get Easy Pete's dynamite? Easy Pete's pretty protective of his dynamite. You'd have to convince him you know a thing or two about explosives before you handed it over. Okay. I need to get the prim. Can you suggest a route? Sure can. Take the road southeast out of town till it hits the freeway. Prim is the town with the roller coaster straight south. Can't miss it. NCR patrols do a good job of keeping the highway clear. But I'd keep your gun where you can reach it easily. You never know who you'll run into. Off the road, you'll probably start running into hostile wildlife. My advice would be to stick to the highway when you can. Okay. I'm a little short on caps. Don't suppose there's any work available? Not in good springs, no. But if you're up for a little scavenging, there's always the schoolhouse. Most of what's in there is junk, but there's this old safe that even Easy Pete wasn't able to crack with dynamite. If you want to take a shot at it, take these. A magazine on locksmiths? If the lock's too much for you to handle, reading through the magazine might give you the edge you need. And the bobby pins? You'll need those to pick the lock. Be careful, though. Put too much pressure on them, and they'll snap. All right, I'll go take a look at that safe when I have a chance. Always happy to help someone down on their luck. Uh, goodbye. I'll she gonna be waiting for me. Let's go see if I can talk to Trudy. So you're planning on taking on Joe Cobb's gang. It's a big risk, but I suppose you have to do what you think is right. Speech. You should help me take down the powder game. Bullets, explosions, a lot of fun. I was planning on sitting this one out, but for some reason, I can't help but like you. I'm with you. Oh, yeah. Let me have a word with a few other folks, and I'll see if I can't round up some more members for this militia you're creating. While everyone does own a gun, we could stand to be a little better equipped. The general store probably has what we need in stock. Okay. Who's that man you argue with? He's a convict, just without the chains. Said his name was Cobb. <clears throat> Powder gangers is what they call themselves. Plenty more like him out there. Okay, goodbye. Be careful. So now we gotta talk to this guy named Easy Pete. I'm guessing this is Easy Pete. Yep. Howdy. What can Easy Pete do for you? I heard you got dynamite. It'll be. It would help us beat the powder gangers. Too dangerous. Gonna kill all yourselves if I let you touch it. Better to leave it buried. Safer that way. Oh, no, no, no. I don't have any explosives. Never mind. Uh, let's see. I'm guessing I can't do anything about that. Keep your gun handy if you go poking around some of the abandoned places around here. Like the schoolhouse. Critters move in there sometimes. Yeah, whatever. Reload my gun real quick. Never know what can happen. Okay. You must be the one Doc Mitchell was patching up. The way I heard it, I didn't think you'd be walking out of that office. I've got plenty of supplies for sale. Even got some weapon mods and special ammo. Well worth the caps if you ask me. If you're hurting for caps, I've also got boxes of surplus ammo in the miscellaneous section. They're not great, but you get what you pay for. I need supplies to fight the powder gangers. Now just hold on. I never voted to take on the powder gangers. That's a thousand cap investment you're talking about. Uh, my barter skill isn't high enough either. Whatever. Right. Just keep me out of it. Is there anything else? Show me what you have for sale. Can do. Let's see, can I sell any of this stuff? I have two laser pistols. I should just fix that up by myself. Uh, how much? 71 for some leather armor? Uh, let's see, sell these cigarettes. See, told you that'd come in handy. Boom. Sell that yeast. I only got 58 caps now. I got 71. Okay, I'll take that. Buff your hands. What weapons does he have? Nothing that I care about. Pleasure doing business with you. Goodbye. Take it. Now let's go see the doctor. 
Hopefully he has some medical supplies to help patch us up. Because I don't know how many of them going to be. But it seems like it's going to be a pretty big fight if we need the whole town to go fight some dudes. So this should be good. Okay, where are you, Doc? There you go. Welcome back. I had hoped you wouldn't need to come see me again so soon. What can I do for you? I need medical supplies. Sure. Oh, wait, that's the wrong one. That's the wrong option. Uh, the town is going to be attacked by bandits. Anything you do, you can do to help? Seems like wherever I go, it's always the same. Folks just never leave each other alone. Oh, I'm not much good in a fight with my bum leg. And my supplies are scarce. But I'll give you what I can spare. Okay, three stem packs. That's all cool. You take care now. Alright, so I guess we should just go back to Ringo. And go see what he wants now. Because I can't do anything with Chet or Easy Pete. And I'm guessing that's just all the people that's in the town. So, let me go see. About Ringo, what's over here? Nothing of importance. Okay. But first, we got items. Apparel. I know all this already. Damage threshold on 6. Weight gain on 15. I'll wear that level armor. Cool. Repair my leather, my laser pistol, and we should be good. Thirty out of thirteen. I don't got no millimeter bullets for this mother machine. Are you serious? Whatever. Okay, Ringo. So what's going on? Did Sunny agree to help us? Sonny's with us. Well, I guess that means we're ready to go. Unless you think there's something else you can do. Uh, let's do this. All right, I'm ready. I hope. Time to look alive. The Powder Gangers are here to play. How many are there? At least six. Joe Cobb included. They look pretty okay. mean. Okay, seven people? Ain't no problem for me. But anyways, this has been the end of the episode. And if you're new here, subscribe. And be sure to leave a like, a favorite, a comment, whatever you want. You can even leave a dislike if you didn't like watching this. Ah, but I'm guessing you like this already. I know it's a slow pace is a little bit slow, but that's just the first two episodes. But anyways, I'm pretty sure it'll be more action-packed episode. So this has been your boy United Buns One. Peace. I'm out.